What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm going to cover several different highly shorter positions in this video and just kind of give you guys a late night overview of what some potential upside could look like with several different, well, highly shorter positions and also highly shorter stock names that do look like they're ready to go if the window of opportunity does open. Of course, I do think that tomorrow morning when we get CPI data, CPI, core CPI, month over month, year over year, we could see this market go in either direction with some significant um, pace. So, you know, if we do see an upside move here, I think several of these highly short positions would be the first to start moving. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this, guys. If you haven't yet, of course, smash the like button, engage with the video. If you are up there and you want more information on trading, um, several different educational videos, guys, entries, exits for call us daily. Um, link in the description below for the Discord. We do trade every single day. And we do have a two-week free trial going on there. But besides that, guys, let's get into this video. And I appreciate you guys who already like the video all the time. I appreciate you guys. So right now, I'm gonna start with GameStop here. We're getting the Chewy Wolf and then uh, CVNA AMC a, a bit after this. I spoke to you guys all the way back here in July about seeing a real, real significant shakeout with GameStop back down towards that 1745 level here. Now, this is on the daily, so you can't see it, but we got roughly to 1745 there uh, in the pre-market of last Monday, where we have that significant pullback in the market. Now, at this point in time, guys, I'm not going to lie, the overall volume for GameStop on this rise has not been convincing, but I will say it did match in a very similar fashion the moves that we have been seeing across the market, right? It's not like the market has been rising on high volume and GameStop's an anomaly. GameStop GameStop basically has been lockstep with the market so far since this pullback on Monday. Now, every breakout, sorry, I do expect there to be a little bit of pullback. So what I am looking for right now is do we start to see higher highs on the market or do we continue to see lower highs here? I think the level, the key level here for the market where we could start seeing, you know, a real test of all-time highs is if the SPY does crack 550. Right now, the key level that I was looking for today to indicate that we could see some very bullish price action is that 539 gap fill close with volume. It's on increase of volume here. I'm still the higher highs. So that's kind of where we are for the market. Now, going back to GameStop here, GameStop has basically done what the market's been doing for the past little while here. The level that I'm looking for here to start going with short-term options, as I spoke to you guys about before as well, is roughly 2372. A huge historical level there where I do think the stock does respond well to i do think that overall uh you know buyers do seem to find uh, i should say bulls seem to find more significant value when this does trade over this 2372 level here it gets a little bit choppy below because there is i i feel like there's always this fear that you know this thing could completely capitulate back down towards this 1073 level here back down to around 1272 so when this thing does start dropping back down below that 2372 level here if i'm not going to go short and i don't short this name i'm not going to touch it right i'm not going to i'm not going to trade it i do think that there are are several different uh, indications that there was a great long position here from that 1745 level, but we never got that intraday. So as a point, guys, let's get back to it. If we do see a weekly candle close, and I mean a weekly above this 2372 level here, I think that we could start to see some significant price action moves that have this thing go from a daily close over 2372 to pushing 3034 within within days, right? Like that's that's typically what we get with this name. We saw this name basically reject, I uh, sorry, use 1745 as uh, support back in May, just a few months ago. Uh, the next day I saw a high of 38. The following day I saw a high of 64. This is, you know, within two days of using 1745 as support, this thing completely ripped up. So if we could reclaim 2372 and uh, and really put uh, anyone who's in a short position in, in a, you know, a little bit of pickle there, I think this thing could really start breaking out. So moving on to the next one, guys, looking at Chewy. You know, I do think that, we saw an opportunity to get a true breakout here. It depends on how you have this chart. To me, the breakout really doesn't start until we see a, a solid strong move above 2683, roughly this 2650 to 2683 range here. A daily candle close above this resistance of 2525, like this is what I, what I was watching today. Uh, this little level of resistance here that we saw rejection from basically all throughout July. And we also saw that same rejection here as well. You know, I could see things getting interesting above 2525. The day high today was 2519, right? So I could see that being, a, a, being a, an, uh, I guess, a potential entry there if you want to go along with calls. If we do see something where this can crack over 2683, that's where I think we start to see this inverse head and shoulder pattern here really starts to take place. And one more move there, and I'd be looking for, or even a consolidation above that level there. And I'd be looking for a strong move back up towards not only 30, but 30, maybe back up towards 34, 35. That 39 spike is huge. I mean, it sold off pretty quickly. That's probably the same day that uh, Roaring Kitty dropped some meme or something like that. That's, that's what I think happened there, actually. 
Anyways, besides the point, that's what I'll be looking for from Chewy, okay? From Wolf, um, I'm not going to lie. This is more of an indication that several different short positions could be seeing something. I thought Wolf had a great opportunity to break out roughly in this range here. Once it broke back down below that 350 level there, it just could not get back up. It kind of looks like a life, life alert commercial here. Um, I'm not going to be as interested in trading this name until it can break back above roughly 272, maybe from a share play perspective, maybe. But there's still so much work for this for this name to do here before it does have a legit breakout. 56 to 60% is how far it has to travel before I think it has a legit shot of breaking out here. So, I mean, you could see a great move there with Wolf back up towards 350. Um, but that would be a, a that would be an extraordinary move even for its name at this time. Okay. All right, guys. Now let's take a look at CVNA. CVNA to me is interesting. It got that move over 36.92 and absolutely ripped here. This was a level where CVNA got rejected nine out of ten times going into their earnings. Like this was something that had a 90% rejection rate from that 36, that 136.92 level, and today absolutely ripped faces. Um, if we do see a daily candle close above 150, I think this thing is out of here. This has been a pretty decent level here to keep an eye on, even from all the way back in March 2022. It was a significant level of resistance here. Anything above that, and we can see this thing push some decent numbers pretty quickly. Um, yeah, not all the way up towards 180 to 190 is is available, right? Like that that could be a quick volume gap where you see this thing absolutely move here. Like, look, you saw us back in July 2020. Use that 150 level as support, and one, two, three, four, five, six days later, this thing absolutely squeezed up 20 percent in a day, uh, and was at uh, 225. It's happened before. So I'm not, I'm not saying that that's the kind of move that we see here, but if the market does have a squeezing aspect to it based off of what could potentially happen later on this week, it'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting. Okay, let's take a look at AMC here. AMC to me is uh, has been consolidating for a while here. You know, as long as it remains in this range here, it, it's tough to get a good grasp of how strong these moves are because some of these moves here have significant volume, like a great chance here, but then you'll see a halt. That'll happen in the market, right? So it's tough, especially if you're trading options to kind of time it correctly. But if you do get what I would describe as a daily candle close over six bucks, ideally weekly, but a daily candle close over six bucks, that's where I think you could, that's where I think I would personally take, take a, a shot there. Um, but you could take a, you know, more legit size shot for an upside move here. At this point in time, guys, between these two zones here, uh, this would be a put zone and this would be a call zone. And that's just the way this thing's been trading so far. So there's nothing really for me to enter in with a decent level of risk versus reward at this level. Um, maybe if we can push up towards 550, we can we can figure something out here. But I'm really looking for a daily candle close above six bucks to give me an indication that this is gonna be the direction short term. All right, guys. So that's what I got for you guys right now. Just a quick little review over several different names that could see some potential upside here. Of course, guys, the downside for the market is we see this thing retrace. And I'm looking for higher lows. Uh, we can see the spy come back down towards 525, 522. Uh, we can see the Qs come back down towards you know that 435 level, and IWM and I expect roughly around 200. But those would be the the next level lows that I'd be looking for buyers to step in, and then we kind of see our the market working its way out of here as we head towards potentially uh, fall. All right, guys. So my name is Steve. I am the Mass Investor. Hopefully, 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 you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, guys, smash the like button, engage with the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to trade with me and the team, guys, link in the description below for the Discord two week free trial while spots are still available. For everybody else, catch you guys in the next video. Much love. Deuces.